In this video, we will install Eclipse IDE in Windows 10 machine. For downloading Eclipse, you can search for Eclipse download on Google. Here you should see multiple links for Eclipse for different technologies or languages like Java Enterprise Edition, Java Developers, C, C++, PHP, etc. Let's click on this main download page links and also on this Java Developers link. This is the Eclipse for Java Developers page and this is the main download page. At this time, Eclipse Neon is the latest version of Eclipse. On Java Developers page, here are the different previous version packages and at the top is the latest package, Neon package. And here's the download link for various operating system and architecture like 32-bit and 64-bit. These links will give the zipped or compressed version of Eclipse which you can download and extract on any location on your system and run it. So let's download the latest version. Click on this download button and download will start. After download, run the downloaded file. Eclipse installer will start. Here it presents various options like Java, C, C++, JavaScript, Web Developers, PHP and many more. You can see here different versions of Java Eclipse. Java EE Developers Eclipse Edition is used when you need to develop a uh, web application using string or you need to uh, use struts in your program. Uh, but if you need just to uh, uh, use only the Java language, the core Java language, then Java Developer Edition is more than enough. So let's install for Java Developers. Here it is asking for installation path. You can change this or go with the defaults. Click on install button. Click on accept now to accept the term and conditions. Installation will start. Based on your internet connection it may take some time because, because during installation it will download the necessary packages from web. If you have limited bandwidth then you can use the package zip file to install Eclipse on your system. While this installation is going on, let me show you how you can install from zip file. This is a new virtual Windows 7 machine only for this demo. Visit Eclipse downloads packages URL. Here different flavors of Eclipse is listed. We will install Java IDE. Here are the 64-bit version and 32-bit version links. My system is 64-bit so I will click on this 64-bit link. Now click on this download link and it will start downloading. After download is complete, go to the download location. Right click on this file and select extract option. Extract this file to any location you want. I will extract it to my C drive. After that, get inside of that extracted folder. Here's the eclipse.exe file which will launch the Eclipse IDE. You can run it from here by double clicking on it. But it will be a good idea to create a shortcut of it and paste it on your desktop.
This is how you can install Eclipse offline. Let's move to our main machine. Here, now installation is completed. Launch Eclipse. Select workspace or go with the defaults. Workspace is a folder location where all our Java code will be stored. You can have multiple workspaces. In that case, every time you will open Eclipse, you need to select any one workspace. So Eclipse IDE is successfully installed on the system. Next we will create a simple Java program.